So, uh, welcome to another video here on the Azores, part two of the discovery experience, let's call it. And um, today we are about to ride absolutely the hardest downhill track on the whole Azores. I mean, it's called Ptaldvent. It's a, a very technical track from, from jumps to technical zones. It's fast, it's loose. Some of the times it's very muddy, but hopefully today won't be too muddy. But uh, we won't ride it today. We're just gonna head there because I wanna do one of those downhill raw POVs, top to bottom, on the track. But first, I mean, last Sunday uh, it rained a little bit, so we are heading, it's currently 5.30 p.m. We're just heading there, there until it's dark to kind of like rearrange some things, get some look onto some trenches, see if there's some leaves getting onto the trail because the raw POVs, you know, the trail needs to be perfect, everything needs to be perfect. So we're gonna prepare the trail for tomorrow, head on there and ride it with some other friends. So yeah, I'm gonna call my friend Paul, I'm gonna pick him up right now. And we're kind of heading there to do some trail building. Essentials are always some boots, rough boots, a hat, we don't know if it's gonna be misty or if it's gonna be like sunny. A couple of extra GoPro batteries, but that you already know. And check what? Yeah. Good food, anyways. Water, gloves, I don't wanna wreck my hands. Some jeans, because you don't go trail building with shorts, jeans. One of these Lycra shirts, so I don't sweat a lot. And uh, that's it. Backpack on the back, you're gonna take Two shovels, one katana, and I think it's gonna do the job. That's fun on there. Oh, good luck for these. Unfortunately, the trail was in a lot worse shape than we expected it to. We were expecting a couple of trenches, leaves, not too many grass clippings, but it had rained very, very heavily this past weekend, and today's Tuesday. Everything's very wet. The trenches, you're about to discover how big the trenches were from top to bottom of the trail. Unfortunately, we didn't have too much time to act. Oh, good. Oh, I'm sure it's like a newt. Play, you're just fucking sat there with that scene. This has to not have this katan. The trial was in very bad shape, but we had high hopes for today. Let's put hands to work. Check it out, 8 o'clock, he's still at it, uh, it's looking just gorgeous, the top's gorgeous too, all the way to the bottom is nice, and uh, well, the view, the view just amazes everybody that comes in here, check it out, beautiful, Paul is up there just fixing another, another pothole, and uh, almost done, almost done, I think we'll, we'll be here till night, but we're almost done. Getting work done. Oh, no yawns. <laughs> no yawns. We stayed till dark, and most of the things we had in mind were complete at this moment. Big trenches were filled up with dirt, and grass was out of the way. Now, we didn't really expect what was about to happen this night. Hey, oh, good morning. Um, it's 7 a.m. It rained last night. It rained a whole lot last night, but the weather is so good this morning. Look at it. I mean, it's, it's sunny. Uh, 
I've checked out the weather webcams on Set Cidade there on Portal Vent and it's just looking fire. I thought it was about to be cloudy and we were just about to abort the mission. But um I don't know. We're just gonna pack the thing and head there, but if it if it is too muddy we we we're still gonna abort it. But uh Let's hope it's not. Let's hope it's not. We're gonna have breakfast, gonna prepare the things, gonna head on to Set Cidade because we we're gonna check out how the terrain is after the, this nice rains. Let's see. Tá. Make it stop. Fish. Oh, <laughs> essa essa chuva do já noite. O que é que vais levar? O que é que vais levar? Não sei. Olha Olha para isso. Dá-me só aqui um. Um coisa no início. Oh, that's the sand. We're just warming up. It's muddy as hell. I mean, oh my lord. Took a whole lot of pressure out of the tires just to make it a little smoother down this, these roots and rocks. And we're just gonna test out a couple, a couple of these jumps. Okay. Hard work taken down by the heavy night rains. That was what happened this night. All the work we put in yesterday, filling up those trenches and cleaning everything up for today was now gone. Trenches were once again opened and it was very muddy, slippery and very dangerous. These jumps require a lot of speed to be hit. They need to be linked together so you'd have the speed because they have very big gaps. Unfortunately, today wasn't the day to hit him. But that wasn't about to stop our fun for today, because we still have the bottom section to ride. Okay. Never leave. Get to see. Bro, I'm there. Hear this? Absolutely nothing. That that's that yeah. Absolutely nothing. Yeah. We are in the middle of the island and we're not really discovering trails. We already know this spot. This is kind of a secret spot on the island. Where is it at? I don't know. You guys will have to discover. Is uh, is in a good folk. Secret spot. Very calm. Very interesting. Pictures, photographs, everything. But uh, we are heading on to the top of the lagoon. Not really to have a dive, but to head up there on a cross country trip and go all the way to the bottom. Yeah, it's gonna be nice. It's not sunny, but that's good because otherwise it would be like too hot to ride. So it's just the perfect temperature for a cross country ride up here on the mountains. Views are gonna be insane. Although it's not gonna be sunny, it's gonna be insane. Let's head on there. Come on, go on, buddy! Go on, buddy! Look at the buddy now! <laughs> oh, 
get this plan! You! Oh my lord, so nice. That was a heck of a descent on a cross-country bike. Oh man, that was very, very nice. Very, very nice. Hey all, and here we are again heading on once more to Stolven Trail. And we're just gonna do the bottom section because as you saw in the last clips, the top section is very, very bad due to the rain and guess what? It's raining again at the Azores. No news for anybody, but that's what it is. Uh, this time we're heading on with a bigger group. Uh, Rick's just coming up to pick us up with a pickup. So is Paul and a couple of other friends. Gonna pick up another friend on the middle of the way there and hopefully it isn't raining because um, it's miserable down here. And I don't really want to ride in the rain, but we'll see. Although rainy, the morning started with a different problem than usual. Enric tried to fit a couple of inserts on his tires the night before the ride. Guess what, it didn't seal up. Haha. <laughs> he doesn't have a compressor or the feet pump didn't really work, so he had to take the bike to the gas station to fix and do the job. It was raining, we had carpets on the head, and the tire wasn't sealing up. He wasn't looking too good for us at this point. With the tires on their place holding air as they should, bikes went back to the pickup and we went to pick up a friend that's very classic here in the Azores, he's called The Matrix and he's about to ride with us today. Check him out, he doesn't really like to be recorded. <laughs> Oh man. Calendar. Bora. Man, this has got a lot of push. Bora. Oh, Peton, Peton. Olha o homem. E caramba. Não é que tenha muita lama, mas um gajo já não sabe andar aqui. Yeah. Oh, it's so... Oh, olha para isto, olha para isto! Está cavadíssimo! Oh, José Bisnaga, acelera! Oh! Oh, it's slippery, it's slippery! Yeah! Yo! Break it up! Oh! Já não sei andar nos Açores, pá! Oh pá, e o drop, e o drop! Que p*** de selada no drop! Yeah. Oh, olha o homem! Olha o homem que esta cena está seca! Está seco, pá! Oh, caramba! Yeah. <laughs> you. It's dry. It's dry. I mean, last time it was wet. This time it's dry. It's so nice. So so nice when it's dry. One of the best trails in the island when it's dry. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, boy! Yeah, oh, these jumps are just insane right here. Yeah! So crazy nice. Oh. A week has passed since the last time we came around, and I heard some rumors about the top section of the trail being dry, so 
Since I don't have many days here on the Azores, let's go up there, let's take a look, and maybe we'll be able to do the jumps. I'm gonna try and hit it. This is the most amazing view I've ever seen on a trail. In Portugal, surely, but maybe on the world. It's just beautiful. As they say, third time's a charm. So here we go, third time into this amazing view once more. Oh, Paul, yeah! I don't normally use this angle, but uh, I mean, the view is so amazing that I think you don't really need to see my handlebars. I'm just going to leave the GoPro right top so you can see the view and everything else. And I'm uh, just going to do a descent with it on top of it. Let's go. All right. This is, this is just marvelous. Down here is marvelous. Woo! Oh, so nice down this spot. Oh my lord. Whoa. Check out these turns right here. They're just amazing. Oh my lord, it's vertical. Oh my lord, this is vertical. This is just brutally vertical. It's insane. It's insane. Oh my lord. Oh, I almost died, man. That was the closest thing to that I've ever experienced all day and maybe all year long. Oh my lord, stress gaps on the left side, but that's all right. Oh my lord, almost died back there, almost died. Whoa, my lord, that's just insane. Yo, mantle, it's just mantle. Whoa. He's just gonna hit this jump. The jump's big, it's very nice. Very, very nice. Let's check him out. Oh! Yo, so nice. So freaking nice. Should I hit it? Easy! Stop off! Eh? Stop. If he jumped it, why wouldn't we? It's a big jump. Neither the less, but. Um, Oh, let's see how it goes. Well, it's a big jump, absolutely nothing we haven't done before, but it's on a wet trail. Let's let's test it out. Why not? Whoop! Okay, bit of speed from here. Yeah! Hey, go f the man. Set top. Ta top, 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 top. At least I can't say all the work we did was for nothing. It cleared up the weather, it was dry, it was amazing, and I now can say I did the biggest and most gnarly trails with the best view ever on the Azores. Adrenaline out of the way, we stopped to have a bit of a lunch break ate a couple of french fries and things that are not good for the health but taste very well and meet up with this guy. This guy is a local legend around here on Stage. Where are we going to ride this afternoon? These guys build trails like nobody does. They maintain them all around the year and it doesn't matter which storm comes to the Azores, you're going to head on to their trails which are Tunnel and Pedro Camada and the trails are going to be insane. Thank you guys for keeping these trails amazing. So now, belly's full, let's ride them. Come on, you can't get a lot of people. You can't get a lot 
Oh, pé pelo trilho novo, ok? Aqui é que é o novo. É, pô, olha o trilho novo. Oh, 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 que p. Ei. Ah, no tempo da obra. Ei, man. What? Man, just look at the marks. That's Diego's. That's mine. Ah, oh, but, but unfortunately I got a little bit of a crack on the frame. Ah, no way. Anyways, I do need to uh, take off the mud guard and take it on, on my backpack. And, uh, well, the brakes, the brakes need to get a bit fixed. There we go. I mean, I just broke all of them, so better take it on my backpack instead of just losing it. And this needs to come up something like this. Also, this is not all right. There we go. Something like that. All right, let's see. The objective is for the mud guards to keep being in here all the way down. Let me tell you, this trail is just amazing. This trail, every time of the year you come here, whether it's rained, it's dry, it doesn't really matter. It's just incredible. It's always in tip top shape. Everything's amazing. Oh man, it's so nice, but... Top shoes. Oh, you got the llamas. Of a full day ride it was. With all the wind, mosteiros, a whole lot of amazing trails. Unfortunately for me, this was the last ride I'll have on this trip on the Azores. So on that note, I hope you guys once more enjoyed the Azorian beauty, and I'll see you guys next time.